I used a standing desk every day for 30 days. And I got to say, the results or the benefits and the whole experience was incredibly interesting. Oh, hi, Mark. What's up, Vachero fam? Welcome back to my channel. We'd like to experience everything that life has to offer. Recently, standing desks have been blowing up and getting insanely more popular. I think as a lot of people are looking to be more healthy and especially a lot more people are working from home. And I used a standing desk every day, pretty much all day as opposed to sitting. And it's really interesting how it affected me in terms of my productivity, my workflow, my health, and a lot more. So in this video, I'm gonna get into the nitty gritty of what is it like using a standing desk, the benefits, what are the pros, but also the cons or the negatives and more. First off, let's get into the desk itself. So I bought a standing desk on Amazon. I have a link listed below it in the description if you wanna check it out. I'm gonna stress, I have no affiliation with this company. I think it's pronounced Clakes, I think. And when I bought the standing desk, it was roughly about with tax and all that kind of stuff, it was free shipping on Amazon. It came to $140. So I gotta say, not too bad. When I first thought about doing this and actually getting a standing desk, because I do personally work from home pretty much all day for the most part, I was like, oh man, it's probably gonna cost me a ton of money. Not too bad. In addition, if you just search standing desk on Amazon or eBay or pretty much any other site, there's tons of different standing desks. And I see the average amount I've seen is between maybe 120 to like 150 if you're looking at the low end. Of course, there are tons of standing desks that are a lot more, but if you think about it for 120 to like say 140, 150 bucks, not too bad, especially if you need a desk anyway. One unique pro tip I will give as well is if you are looking to order a standing desk, check the sizes because I just did this before the filming of this video, the smallest size under the Clakes brand is $140. That's the one I personally have. However, a bigger size is actually 120. So what's interesting is if you are looking to buy a standing desk, sometimes just because it's smaller doesn't necessarily mean that it's cheaper. So experiment with the sizes to get the cheapest option possible. Now I did order it on Amazon, like I said, in terms of building it, cause it arrived pretty much unassembled, almost like building something from Ikea. It took me about, I'd say, 45 minutes on average. I think if I had to do it again, I could probably shrink that down if I'm trying to like speed run it, so to speak. But I'd say on average, look at about 45 minutes, maybe an hour in terms of building it. And I'm gonna stress, I'm not a builder. So it's not like I have a lot of experience with building stuff. It's pretty intuitive and pretty simple and easy to do. And once it was built, it was super easy to use. As you can imagine, I stand at it and I work. In addition, on this model, and a lot of models now with standing desks have this feature, there's a few different buttons. So one is you can make it go up or down using the arrows. And then the second option you have is different presets. This is super useful. Let's say if there's multiple people using a standing desk or for whatever reason you have to use it for different instances, you can bring it to a height you hold the button, and then the next time you press that button, the desk will automatically move to that height. So I will say as a side note, if you are looking to use this feature a lot, the desk does need to be connected to electricity or basically a wall outlet. However, if let's say you're like, eh, I'm really only gonna use it on one height, I don't really need to adjust it a lot, you can easily adjust it to that height and then unplug it. Without it being said now about the desk itself, here were my kind of rules or guidelines for this challenge or experiment. And that is I could only work at the standing desk. And for me, I pretty much work all day. I'm a DJ and electronic musician, and I'm also a YouTuber. So pretty much my time is spent behind my computer. I saw this one quote that said, an entrepreneur trades a nine to five for a 24 seven. Definitely true. So pretty much from the time I woke up to the time I went to bed, I was always at that standing desk. The only times I actually did sit down were ironically one, to film a video like I'm doing now, and two, let's say I worked all day, it's eight or 9 p.m. at night, and I wanna kinda sit down and watch TV, I was allowed to kinda sit down and watch TV for maybe like an hour, just kind of decompress, so to speak, but for the most part, I really wanted to force myself to only stand at that desk the entire day. I even ate while standing at the desk. Now, before I get into my personal experience using a standing desk, let's look at the benefits that have been demonstrated 
by studies. To quickly mention seven benefits of a standing desk, one, it lowers your risk of weight gain and obesity, may lower blood sugar levels, may lower your risk of heart disease, they appear to reduce back pain, they may help with mood and energy levels, they may boost productivity, and they may help you live longer. However, there are conflicting reports, as as you can see, the researchers publishing in the Journal of Physical Activity and Health tried to look into this. They found that basically using a standing desk for three hours burns an extra 24 calories, about the same number of calories in a carrot. Working on a standing desk is way better than sitting. There's no comparison there, and I will go into detail about the negatives of sitting, which is a big thing, by the way. However, I think the biggest thing when it comes to a standing desk, and this has been demonstrated in a lot of studies, isn't the fact that you're standing, pretend I'm standing, versus sitting. It's more the fact that you might be moving around a lot more. You're not just in one place not moving, you're constantly maybe moving, and you're more likely, they found in studies when using a standing desk, to move or maybe pace or basically move just a little bit more, and that adds up over time as opposed to you just sitting. And speaking of sitting, we've probably seen a lot of these reports, but in case you haven't, there's been a lot of studies to show that in a sense, sitting is the new smoking. Let's say you work at a nine to five job, which most people do, and you're sitting pretty much all day, that is extremely, extremely bad for you. And the worst part is, and this is a bit scary, that they found in studies that let's say you sit pretty much all day and then you go and work out. A lot of people do that. Or let's say you, work out before work and then you sit all day, that workout before or like say after you sitting for hours on end does not mitigate that negative effect of sitting. And this is a huge issue because a lot of people think, oh, well, I worked out before work. So if I sit all day, no big deal. I worked out before work or I worked out after work. Unfortunately, those workouts, although very beneficial, of course, don't mitigate the damage of sitting all day. And so one theory I personally have, and I wanna stress, I'm not a doctor and I never pretend to be one. I think a big benefit of standing desks isn't the standing itself. It's more the fact that you're not sitting and not moving all day. And I do wanna stress that because that's my honest theory that I feel like it's not that you're standing that's super, super healthy or beneficial. It's more the fact that you're removing the negative parts and the negative aspects of sitting, making a sitting desk super good for you. With that all being said now, I wanna talk about my personal experience. And I wanna stress this on this video before I get into this. I did this and then looked at the benefits afterwards. I think it's very, very easy when you're doing anything new or trying something new to research first and be like, okay, what are the benefits of this thing before I do it? And then it becomes like a self-fulfilling prophecy where it kind of distorts the overall end result, right? And don't get me wrong, the placebo effect can be very, very powerful. And sometimes ends do justify the means However, I wanna talk about my own anecdotal evidence, so to speak, or my experience using a standing desk. Now, one, to start, I will say it took me, I think about two or three days to get used to it. The first couple days, I feel like I did have to adjust, where in the first hour, I was like, all right, not really noticing anything different. And then by the second or third hour, it's not that I was tired, but I was just kind of like, uh, I think I've had enough of this, right? To the point where I was almost like slouching over the desk, working at points, being like, all right, I got, you know, a month, left for this. And again, it wasn't like it was tiring. It's not like I was exhausted or something like that, but it was a bit more just like annoying. I think especially in the beginning, I was way more fidgety. I think just because I wasn't used to standing for hours. I would like wake up, stand all day, like I said, except when I was filming a video or like say super late at night, like around eight or 9 PM, where I would sit down, like say watch TV just for a little bit. I was standing all day. So I think my body in a good way, had to kind of adjust to that. Now, once I did get adjusted, I'm gonna be blunt, I loved it. I did not expect, and this is the big one for me, I did not expect a standing desk to have that insane impact on my productivity than it did. It was insane how much more productive I am when standing than when sitting. So even now, even though I'm kind of done with this experiment, I'm never looking back. There was even one time, which is kind of a good comparison, that after this, I had to sit. And a huge pro tip as a side note, if you are trying something new, whether it's a logistical thing like a standing desk or a new supplement, always try it, then don't try it, then try it again. This gives you a really good comparison to be like, okay, after I stop doing this thing or taking the supplement, how do I feel? And then when I start taking it again for a second time, 
How does it feel? This is a really good comparative metric I learned from Andrew Huberman. So it's a really good way to kind of compare things in the most objective way, if possible. And I remember recently I was at like a Starbucks or something and I had to sit and work. And I remember being like, why am I just not as into this? I'm not exaggerating when I say this, working at a sitting desk, it almost made me feel like I took like a little bit of Adderall or I took like a nootropic in terms of like a focus boosting supplement. I also noticed I needed less coffee or caffeine. I felt like working at the sitting desk felt like I took, I know it sounds weird, like a minor, minor, minor supplement to boost my focus, creativity, and workflow. I have seen that reported in a lot of studies that they found that a lot more people can focus while at a sitting desk and are more productive. And like I said earlier, I found this out after I used the standing desk, not beforehand. So it wasn't like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Although, hey, if you're more productive, the end just by the means, right? But this is something I noticed just kind of on my own. Once I got used to the standing desk, which again took about three days, probably two to three days, like that's it. It was insane how much more productive I was. I also noticed that because I could move around a lot more, like when you're sitting and you're working, you pretty much just do this. Maybe not this exactly, but you're kind of like working, you might like lean back for a second. You're not really moving as much. But with the standing desk, you can kind of like move around a little bit and kind of have more freedom to move. And that has been shown in studies to boost creativity, flow, concentration, productivity, and general. And I will say for me, I will never go back to sitting and working ever again, unless I have to. Of course, sometimes you kind of have to, like say if I'm on an airplane, for example, but it is pretty ridiculous how just standing, and I wanna stress, I have no affiliation with the standing desk world or conglomerate or whatever, but I will say it is pretty shocking that again, I have to really drive this point home that just by standing, it literally felt like it took a minor supplement to boost my productivity. And it just felt like in general, and this is the only way I can word it, especially when I've gone back and forth now between standing and then sitting, it feels like I'm just more focused. That's the biggest thing I noticed. For me personally, I've never been a procrastinator, so that's good, right? I will say that. But of course, there are some times where I work, take a break, work, take a break. And I found the standing desk I didn't need to take a break as much. I don't know what it is, but maybe when I was sitting, I had to take a break because I just got kind of fidgety. So I would like Google something or look up something up random or watch YouTube for a little bit, just cause I needed something to kind of cure that fidgetiness, if that's the right word. But with a standing desk, because I could naturally move around a lot more and I did even without meaning to, I never felt the need to kind of take a break, which allow me to be more productive. And I know for some people watching, they might say, well, Mark, I'm not a DJ. I'm not making EDM. I'm an accountant. And I was just, I am a former accountant too, where let's like, say someone's like, hey, I'm an accountant. I deal with numbers. It's not this crazy high energy work that I do. Even so, when I do things that are a bit more low key, like video editing, for example, or typing stuff out, or just doing more business or executive work, like sending emails, even still, I'm just way more in it and way more in the zone. I know I've said this a million times and I'll make it a million and one. I'm in shock as to how much the standing desk alone increased my productivity, even more than some other supplements I've taken. And I've tried a bajillion supplements, especially a lot of nootropics, which are basically cognitive enhancing supplements. I've tried a lot of them. And the best part about a standing desk is it's not like you're taking something that you need to take all the time and all this kind of stuff. You just stand. And that's it. One last really important side note, I have to say about the benefits. I do wanna mention weight loss really quick. I did bring up that example study saying, look, you don't really lose that much weight. For me personally, didn't notice the difference whatsoever. I couldn't really notice any difference. I will say, I feel like me moving around though, and naturally just having more movement, probably burned more calories and was way healthier for me. Don't get me wrong. But like if you are looking to lose weight, do I think working at a standing desk every day, will that, shed those pounds off? I don't think so. I don't think it will help as much as initially people think it might. However, there is one huge tool that's been getting a lot more popular that could definitely help. Now, one thing I do have to bring up on this video, I did not do this, maybe I will in the future, is a walking treadmill or also referred to as an under desk treadmill. In case you don't know what these are, this is kind of what it looks like. They go as it sounds, under your desk. And the idea is, as opposed to being like a full-on treadmill with like the bells and whistles, it's more of a compact version of a treadmill that's meant to be used while also standing. I didn't use one of these for a couple of different reasons I'll talk about in a little bit, but I want to bring these up because let's say you all watching this video being like, Mark, I agree with you. Like I've been using a standing desk. It's amazing. And let's say you want to take it to the next level, so to speak. I've seen crazy 
reports about walking treadmills. They're anywhere between $150 and $300, I'd say, give or take. And the idea is that you walk while also working. I have heard, and this is just something I've seen, like say online and everything, that it does take a little bit to get used to. I feel like that makes sense. But I've seen some reports online on like say social media, like TikTok and Instagram and YouTube of people saying, yeah, it took me about a month or two months to get used to a, a given pace and just the logistics of, you know, working while walking at the same time. And there were people saying, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, on average, I walk between 10 and 14 miles a day while also working, and now I don't even notice it. Not only are the benefits of a standing desk, of course, really good for you, but if you combine that with a walking treadmill, that is unreal. If actually you work nine to five, for example, kind of the cliche hours, if you can get 10 miles in while also working a nine to five job, that's crazy. I even know some creators I've seen, because I did some research in terms of what people are doing. Some creators say, look, I go back and forth. Sometimes I do actually go and sit for my first couple hours of work. Then I walk for like say three hours, I get six miles in, and then I go back and sit. So they kind of go back and forth. At the end of your work day, like say at 5 p.m., being done with walking six miles, five miles, 10 miles, even up to 14 miles a day, I've seen some creators doing. I do wanna mention that on this video, cause let's say if you are looking to kind of revamp your home office or studio or whatever, and you are looking at sitting desks, I cannot suggest it enough to look into walking treadmills. In my opinion, and I wanna stress, this is just an opinion, just a theory. I think the difference between like say, sitting and standing is this, right? It's a pretty big difference in terms of the health benefits, et cetera, et cetera. But I think the difference between standing and using a walking treadmill is this. I genuinely feel like that going from standing to then walking every day while working is doubly as powerful and as beneficial compared to sitting versus standing. This is a big thing I did wanna mention on this video, and I wanna stress, like I said, I didn't try a walking treadmill, I've never used one, you know, I've only seen what I've seen online, but just knowing what I know about health and fitness and movement in general, there's been so many reports from pretty much every longevity expert ever that says this, in the most simple way, one of the best ways to live longer, move more. The people who live a very long and healthy life, usually you see that they wake up, they have a morning walk. Then let's say they're constantly on their feet, walk around everything. Then they do a workout, like say around, I don't know, four or 5 p.m. But then even after the workout, they then go to like say the basketball courts and play a couple pickup games. Or they take dance classes three or four times a week. Or they do jujitsu, right? So they're not just saying, okay, I'm gonna work out once a day, and then I'm done. They're standing and walking in the morning and the night and doing pickup games and still working out as well and all this kind of stuff. Moving more in the most simple way is one of the best ways to live longer. And the main thing that I love about the idea of having a walking treadmill, you're kind of doing the same thing you have to do anyway, which is working behind your computer. Now going to the gym, I know a lot of people like say want to get into a weight loss program or they want to start going to the gym. I do get it is a lot. You have to like say, get your outfit together, get ready and get dressed up in gym clothes. You have to get in your car, drive to the gym, take the time out of your day to work out, you then come back, shower change. It is something, if you think about it, you kind of have to take time out of your day to go out and do. When it comes to a standing desk, and especially a walking treadmill, which of course you use at the same time, it's not like it's taking any time out of your day. Either way, you have to be behind your computer working, so why not A, stand, which is good for you, but also B, if you can, get a walking treadmill, which is even better. With that all being said now, what are the negative aspects? I'm always very honest and transparent on my videos about the pros and the cons as nothing's ever perfect. I gotta be honest right away, there's not a lot of negative things I can really say about using a standing desk. There are some, don't get me wrong, but I remember being like, what really bad things can I say about this? You have to do work anyway. Standing's a lot better than sitting. There's very few negatives, but if I had to get specific, one, like I said, I'm not a doctor. I never pretend to be one. There could be people who let's say can't stand and work at a standing desk, or let's say maybe given a certain health condition, standing for too long can actually be not good for you. So I do wanna say as a very important side note, let's say if you do have a medical condition or whatever the case is, consult with a licensed professional in case you are curious about using a standing desk, just in case. Now the second thing in terms of negative is the price. I know for some people they're like, hey, this sounds great, but I can't afford a standing desk for let's say 120 or 150 bucks. And I get that, huge pro tip. I know this sounds a bit like Captain Obvious, but very important. You don't have to have a standing desk in order to work while standing. So I've seen some people, I remember at one job that I was at, who used almost like a, a cardboard box, that's how they worked. It was really just a cardboard box. Or for example, you go to Costco and you buy one of those like 
fold out tables that are typically used in college for beer pong. I actually remember in 2012, when I first started making music, just because I was actually so broke, I couldn't afford a desk at all. I actually used the beer pong table from college, ironically, to make music and I put all my stuff on top of that. So like I said, what you can do is buy one of those, like say, fold out tables, AKA a college beer pong table. Maybe put some stuff on top of that. Like I said, a cardboard box, however you wanna do it, put yourself on top of that, boom, you can stand and work at the same time. So if money is an issue, maybe look for a creative workaround of just a way to kind of raise some height on a desk or wherever you are, so that way you can work while standing. Overall, gotta say, I did not expect working at a standing desk to have that profound impact on my productivity. And I've tried everything from different logistical techniques to different supplements and nootropics to all these different things. I've tried tons of biohacking, so to speak, and I wasn't too sure what to expect when going into this challenge. I genuinely thought when going into this challenge that it really wouldn't have any effect. That's what I predicted. I thought after these 30 days, I'd be like, all right, I know it's healthier for me, don't get me wrong, but I didn't really notice anything. No, it was insane how much of an impact it had on my productivity. And one amazing thing about that that I definitely have to mention to conclude this video is if let's say you're looking to increase your productivity. I know a lot of people have questions about nootropics and cognitive enhancers and ways to be more productive and have more creativity, et cetera, et cetera. Most people think supplements. You have to go out and buy them and you constantly take them like every day or every month, you have to spend 50 bucks a month or 40 bucks a month or whatever you're getting or buying. With a standing desk, I know it sounds, again, weird to say, but you buy it once and that's it. It's not like you're putting something extra into your body that sometimes you don't know exactly if it's good or bad or the long-term effects, right? And there's been some new tropics that have been shown to not be the best for you, especially long-term. With a standing desk, you buy it once, again, about 120 to 150 bucks, you stand at it, that's it. You can use it for, in a sense, an unlimited amount of times. And so whether you do things like gaming or making music, video editing, you do work from home in terms of accounting, or let's say you work at a nine to five job and you build your own mini low key makeshift standing desk there, however you do it, the jump and the difference between sitting and standing in terms of workflow, productivity, creativity, and overall health benefits is insane.